So a toxic relationship is here. And then you have romantic feelings. So somebody could be in a toxic relationship or somebody was in a toxic relationship with someone. This could be past, present, or near future. So um, you have to take anything that pops out as it resonates with you. Somebody fell in love while in a toxic relationship, whether they're in one now or they were in the past. Now you have ghosted. Whoever this person is, they could have disappeared. They could have just ghosted you. They cut off all communication or they ignored you because of this toxic relationship. And they also did not want this toxic partner to know that they had fallen in love with you and they didn't want you to know. This is someone who felt like they had to hide how they truly felt. And the best thing that they could do was try to erase their feelings and this was stand away from you. Whoever this toxic partner is, they wouldn't pick up on um, the emotions that they have for you. You wouldn't pick up on how they felt about you. Now, whoever this toxic partner is, they already knew they already knew that there was a like strong emotions between you and this person. They knew this person was either someone you were connected to spiritually, like a soulmate, or this was your actual twin flame. But this is someone who wanted your person to commit to them. Your person could have also found out you were their twin. And they were trying to hide this from the person that they were in a connection with. This person also knew. And they were hoping that they could hide this from your person. So it's like two people know about a twin flame connection, a soul contract. One person knows that they have to um, move on from a toxic relationship. At that time, they didn't know how to. But this other person, this toxic partner, they did something to kind of like force this person to stay attached to them. They could have also tried to get this person to believe that they were their soulmate or twin flame. Like they had this spiritual bond. There's a soul contract between um, the, this, this toxic relationship and that this person needed to marry them, commit to them. That kind of threw your person off. Because they can't understand how, why would they commit to someone that they're not happy with? They're actually in a toxic relationship with. So they could have felt like telling your person about the twin flame journey, um, a soul contract. It would make your person happy and this would make your person want to commit. But it's like a day late and a dollar short. They didn't know that your person already knew you were their person. The way that they feel about you with romantic feelings being here, they don't feel about this toxic partner. They don't feel that same way. Okay, so they immediately noticed that this karmic partner, which is this toxic partner that they were in a toxic relationship with, was trying to be you, copycat. This is someone who thought if they told your person they were their person, this will keep your person trapped in a karmic lesson. Your person would be confused and just without thinking commit to them. And this karmic partner felt like they would live happily ever after. 
with your person. Yeah. This is someone who lied to their family about you and their connection. But in reality, they have been praying for this connection. This is someone who wants to have a child with you. I want to live and move in with you. So this is someone who wants to be in a home with you. They want to have a family with you. The reason why they lied about this connection and they didn't want to face their feelings is because they dealt with a lot of childhood trauma. There's a lot of issues that they still needed to heal before wanting to um, face the truth and open up and express their feelings to you. This is someone who needed to learn their karmic lessons. And they've learned, whoever this toxic partner is, they've taught them a karmic lesson. Now it's like they're ready to open up and express the way that they feel about you. Now, whatever took place between you and your person, if they ghosted you, they just kind of distanced themselves from you. They've been questioning if you still love them. Are your feelings still the same? Have anything changed? And this could because they're this could be because they're accustomed to fake love. When you truly love a person, the love does not disappear. There should be no love lost. There could be distance, but the love is not lost. Especially if you were genuine when you showed love to another person or if you have love for someone. But they could be accustomed to fake love. You know, they're around different people or they've been in different connections where um, if they do something wrong, that person hates them. They're accustomed to toxic connections, toxic people. And they definitely misunderstood what love truly is. They feel like you're one of a kind. Nobody could match your energy. If this is someone who was trying to copy you, they couldn't. You are very mysterious. So they feel like if people were trying to like figure you out, they couldn't. Especially if somebody was trying to like duplicate you and they were watching you, trying to figure out your next move, trying to figure out how they could one up you or um, try to steal something from you. This could be a business idea. They never knew what you were going to do next. It's like the energy of the unexpected. They didn't know what to expect. This is why this did not work. Yeah, this is like tricky energy. Somebody tried to trick your person into believing that they were um, their twin flame. And if you're not on the twin flame journey, this may not resonate with you. Um, yeah, this is someone who was doing black magic. Juju work. And they felt like if they could play some type of spell, some type of illusion over your person, your person would believe this. But as I say, it was a day late and a dollar short. Your person already knew who you were to them. They just didn't know um, or understand what the journey was. They didn't know they were trapped in a, a toxic karmic lesson. And they would receive karma for how they did you, especially if they just ghosted you. Um, and they got very guarded towards you. They're understanding why now, because they're ready to express, um, express their feelings and they've learned their karmic lessons. So they're seeing why they were kind of blocked off from you. They needed to release whoever this toxic partner is along with a toxic karmic cycle so they will not attract these type of energies anymore.
This is somebody that's hurt. And it's like if your person have disconnected, set boundaries with this person, this is their self, this person is still behind the scenes trying to throw dark magic at you. And it's not working. I heard it's not working. This is someone who is a fake spiritualist. Whatever they're doing, whatever they're playing with, it's like they're paranoid. They don't know that they're placing something on their self or this is immediately backfiring. It's being blocked off. It's being rejected. Whoever this person is could be an earth sign. I mean, an air sign or earth sign. I don't know why I said earth sign, but yeah, the person causing you negativity is an air sign. This person is holding a grudge because they could not confuse your person. They're upset because their heart chakra is blocked off and they want it to block you off emotionally. Block your person off emotionally because they knew there was a lot of romantic feelings, a lot of chemistry, a lot of deep emotions between the two. So yeah, and it's like they're blocked off. This is someone who also did not want you to be able to like love yourself. If you're focused on yourself, you're not focused on this connection. They felt like by throwing different things at you behind the scenes, it would stop you from being focused. They wanted you to hurt over this connection. They wanted you to be stuck on your person ghosting you and feel rejected. And it's like if they were in the energy of wanting you to be blocked off emotionally, they didn't want you to love yourself because they felt like you loving yourself, um, you healing if you were in a toxic cycle or your person, if this is your twin, because whatever you do, it reflects on them. You're their mirror. They're your mirror. They felt like, um, as I say, it would stop you and that person from manifesting each other physically. You could be someone that likes to burn sage. This clears away negative energy, negative thoughts. And it kind of enhances your intuition as well and inspires loving feelings. So you could be someone that uses sage. But it's like you're spiritually protected as well. You're learning how to protect yourself physically and spiritually. Yeah, this is somebody that was doing root work. And as I said, whatever this person is doing, they don't know what they're doing. This is a fake spiritualist. This is someone who is off into dark magic. So whatever they're doing, it's always going to be reversed. It's always going to backfire onto them. And it's like, if you're not off into things like this, you're not someone that's often trying to ruin other people's lives and you're not... um trying to hurt people this immediately backfires yeah this is someone who did not know you were protected a lot of things that they did it was backfiring onto them and they didn't understand why even the rumors this person spread a lot of rumors about you that were not true They didn't want people to know what they were doing and why. Yeah, somebody was recruiting haters. They wanted other people to hate you too. Yeah, but your ancestors have your back. Spirit guides are here. You have gods and goddesses all around you. They have your back. As I say, you're spiritually protected. Yeah. Now, this person thought that they were going to get some type of information on you with blackmail being here. They would dig up some type of dirt on you and try to use it against you later. Whatever they did not find, whatever they didn't, um, I'm getting this person didn't find anything. So they got upset and just made something up. Yeah. That's 
like somebody tried somebody tried their hardest to try to make sure that you did not um expand you didn't prosper it's like this person seen the future they knew what was to come. They knew that you and your person would be in a partnership, a commitment. There's a soul contract, a reunion. Um, and they felt like these things that they were doing, it would alter or stop these major important life changes. This would stop your person from learning the lessons that they needed to learn. And everything backfired. Your future always benefits um, or your future is going to determine what you do now. And this is something that this energy did not keep in mind. They were only racking up a lot of karma. They weren't going to get anything out of whatever they were doing. They were only racking up karma for other people as they were, as they were recruiting haters. With rumors and lies that were not true. You have the five of swords. So yeah, this is definitely an air sign. This could be an Aquarius. And then we have the knight of pentacles. This was someone that was determined to get another person to take care of them. They relied on whoever your person is. And they felt like they would win at all costs. Now it's like your person is determined to um, work hard. On their self. Slow and steady wins the race. Try not to rush the process. It's like they're, they're happy that they were slowed down. Um, they're happy that this person did whatever they did. Because whatever slowed your person down or was meant to slow them down, it kind of speeded up the process but also gave them a chance to not rush a healing process or wanting to come towards you and open up and express their feelings. It gave them the time to work on their self. It gave them the time to see why they needed to make certain changes. Now they're more determined. It definitely gave them the time to face inner conflict. Yeah, and that's the truth. Ace of Swords. It gave them time to gain complete clarity. And the truth broke through a lot of confusion. A lot of things that they were confused about when they ghosted you. To stay attached to a toxic connection that they needed to be in and out. You have the six of pentacles in the sun. And with the sun being here, your person is thinking very positive about this connection. They feel like it gave them... Um, the time to get something balanced out with their self. But the Six of Pentacles talks about equal give and take as well. So it gave you and your person the time to um, get yourself balanced out. This could be a healing phase that both people needed to go through. Especially if you were in a toxic cycle as well or in toxic connections. It definitely helped you to see your true potential and um, them the same. It helped them to embrace this journey, new possibilities in life, and stand optimistic about what they're wanting to manifest in the future. Now, whoever your person is, they're wanting to apologize. With the Page of Cups, um, an apology is on the horizon. But this is also a new beginning in love as well. They're wanting to express their emotions. Page of Cups. You have the Five of Cups. Somebody is in regret because they were only deceiving their self. 
This is someone who thought they got away with whatever work they were doing behind the scenes just to be left disappointed. This is someone who is upset because they were blinded playing with something they know nothing about. Yeah. They feel lost. And they've watched you grow with the three of wands. This is someone who have sat back behind the scenes and watched your growth. While they were praying on your downfall. And they thought they were placing illusions over you. Yeah. Now it's like this person, they could be in the energy of that. This is overwhelming for them. They can't focus. They feel like you're in this energy with the page of pentacles. You're very focused, but they can't. This person can't focus. They're all over the place. And whatever they had did to you, it came right back to them. It came right back around. Ten of Swords is here. This was an ending that could not be stopped. No matter what they were trying to do or cook up behind the scenes, it just it, it couldn't be stopped. Whatever they were playing with was pent down for harsh, painful endings. Nothing good was going to come out of whatever they had been doing. And if they were doing this way before your person or you found out about the twin flame journey, this is why everything is coming back to haunt this person now. Because they thought they were getting away with this. Yeah. Now they could be going through a lot of drama, chaos. Especially if people are finding out that they lied. They're being confronted. You have healing. I'm also seeing this person is going through a lot of inner conflict. They, this person is being forced to face their demons. Because whatever, the, whatever this person is upset about, it don't have anything to do with you. It has all to do with them, but they don't want to face it. And if you started healing, healing the inner child and they were in competition with you, this is what really made them mad because it's like their plan is not to heal. Their plan was to confuse, trick, manipulate. So this made them even more mad. Because whatever you were doing, it was reflecting onto your person. It was helping them to heal as well. Yeah, twin flames on the bottom of the deck. You're that person's mirror. It helped them to see past an illusion, confusion. That they could have suffered from in the past. You could have suffered from in the past. Yeah, and this is why you and your person were learning karmic lessons and in the energy of um, separation. Illusions is what tore you and your person apart. Breaking free from those illusions, ending out karmic cycles, willing to put in the work, willing to heal, discover who you truly are, is what helped end out this cycle. And somebody is mad. Yeah, they're mad because your person is wanting to open up. This is someone who was very closed off emotionally, blocked off emotionally because they were attached to this karmic soulmate. Now it's like they're wanting to receive and they want to open up. It's like they, they're they wanting to receive love and um, 
they're wanting to give. It's like equal give and take. Recipity or reciprocate. Yeah, equal give and take. Everybody turned their back on me because I love you. Now, if your person have healed, um, there's other people other than this karmic partner that's jealous of this journey. These, I'm hearing family. So this, whoever your person is, their family could be jealous or this could be your family. Take it where it resonates. They're jealous of a healing process that have took place between you and your person. And it's because if you've been around these people your entire life, they have not inspired you to do what you're doing now. They have not inspired you to work on your soul's growth. If this journey has helped you and your person and inspired you and your person, whether you woke up first and inspired them or vice versa, they woke up and inspired you. No one else has had that type of um, effect in a positive way on you or your person. And this is why these people are jealous. They, they cannot take credit for the changes that you have made, your person have made, and they're upset. They don't agree with this connection. They're jealous of this connection. This could be family members, friends. And it's because they cannot take credit for you choosing to become a better person, your person choosing to become a better person and doing a lot of inner work that has helped them to break a generational curse up off of them, up off of you. You and that person working separately during separation to break generational curse up off of each other. They have not done any of that or, you know, inspired you or your person to do any of this. These are toxic karmic soulmates, toxic karmic partners that you were learning lessons with. They were learning lessons with. So whether it's you or your person. There's a family that's jealous of the changes that your person have made or you have made because it has helped them to become a better person. And they weren't a part of um, helping that change or creating that change in a positive way. This card says, I've been knew we were twins. I was just scared. So as I say, when they ghosted you, they knew who you were to them. This person did not know. They didn't know they were wasting their time. And this would only keep them in an illusion confused, stuck in the past. I want to have a family with you. Okay, so you have people are trying to cover up what they did behind the scenes because they don't want others to know that they lied on you. Whoever your person is, they're planning to get away from everyone. They don't want to be attached to any of these people. This is someone who is wondering, will you come with them? They don't care what people think anymore. So if they cared in the past because they really didn't understand this connection that you and them share, they no longer care. They're viewing things from a whole new perspective. I know a lot of people are jealous because we are twins. So yeah, this is confirmation that they know um, this could be people that they're attached to. They're upset with the changes that you've inspired your person to make with the steps that you chose to take. They're jealous of the mirror effect. Yeah. A lot of people are being watched by the police and they don't know. So if there was a lot of 
deception calls behind the scenes people were being tricky they felt like they would get away with this get away with that they were being watched and they didn't know yeah somebody could be going to jail somebody karma could be in jail or uh, legal issues if somebody did something illegal So getting a lot of people that you were guided to move on from your person was guided to move on from it was set up that way for you to move on at a certain time because a lot of people were being issued out karma at a time that you were supposed to and your person was supposed to clear out karma so people were being removed yeah somebody is definitely going to jail Whoever tried to create a lot of chaos in your life, this person is going through some type of legal situation and they're being watched by the authorities. Yeah, this was definitely a toxic partner. This person started a lot of drama. This could also be someone that's heavy off into addictions, whether it's alcohol or drugs. Um, also this, this magic that they were doing, this dark magic, they could be obsessed with that, addicted to that. Could be all the above, take it where it resonates. You have fighting. And then the ex, so yeah. This is someone that your person is no longer attached to or you're no longer attached to. This was a one-sided connection. You had to detach from this person or your person had to detach. Um, this could be both like you and your person have this mirror effect. So whatever you went through in a toxic cycle, they were going through the same thing. Both you and that person needed to detach. You were dealing with one sided connections. You didn't trust the people that you were attached to. These are people that were not loyal. They weren't trustworthy. And they had burnt their bridges with you and your person. It was a one-sided connection. One person was doing way too much. Another person was way too codependent. You have secretive. Yeah. It's like you were dealing, both you and your person were dealing with people that were very sneaky. Now you have reconciliation in pictures. Both of these people were under the impression, um, say if you had someone on your end and your person had someone on their end, they were under the impression that they were going to be getting back with you, getting back with your person. And this is why they needed to do whatever they were doing behind the scenes and it would stay hidden. They would get away with it. This didn't work. They're in regret. Yeah. Because they feel like there's... There, these are people that... They feel like whatever they were trying to do to get you back in a cycle with them, your person back in a cycle with whoever they were attached to, it only made however you and your person feel about each other more intense. Yeah. You have toxic people in contemplation. Whoever these people are, it's like they don't know what to do. They're unsure of what to do next. They're embarrassed. They're ashamed. Everything backfired. There could have been a lot of people involved behind the scenes, especially if people were ganged up, confused, um, recruited to hate on you yeah you have no contact cut off all communication it's like you don't deal with people your person is not dealing with people if these were exes that teamed up behind the scenes to with other people to go against you go against your person um 
you've cut off all communication with this ex. Your person have cut off all communication with whoever this person is they were attached to. They've been blocked off. These were distractions. And then you have pop-up. And then spotlight. Okay, so whoever the person is, these two, these two people, um, somebody could have been trying to figure out how can they distract you and they can't. They don't know what to do. Yeah, you got twin flame on the bottom of the deck. It's two different people that are trying to figure out how to distract you and your twin. Or they were trying to do so and the, whatever they did, it backfired. And now it's like they're confused. They don't know what to do. Now, a lot of people could have, if they went to other people for advice and these were toxic people, these are people that gave them some bad advice. Whatever advice they got, and if it was to deceive you, try to one-up you to get you to come back toward them, this was meant to keep these people confused. And it's because these are people that are very confused and very deceptive. They place illusions around people. Yeah, sleepless nights. So whoever your person is, this person have definitely been up at night thinking about you. Their life has changed since they met you. And at first they were trying to figure out what this all meant. But now they don't want to lose you. The thought of you being with someone else, doing life with someone else, it keeps them up at night. They can't stop thinking about you. You have hold me. Things are not right in my world and I am longing for your embrace today. Please send me your love so that I know everything will be okay. So yeah, this is someone who wants to hold you. Um, and they're deep in regret for ghosting you. Or if they treated you a certain way, they're regretting this. They're ashamed. Um, they were embarrassed for a long time. It's like they needed to build up the strength to be able to open up and um, have an honest communication. I mean, an honest conversation with you. We have one in. This is someone who definitely has been desiring you. Your energy is, excites them and it lures them. It's alluring. It's like they can't help but to crave for you. You turn this person on. You have changing. I'm working hard to change, to face up to all that I have been avoiding for so long. I know I need to do more, but I feel so exhausted and tired. Your love is inspiring me, um, inspiring me to make the necessary changes in my life. So yeah, you're definitely inspiring your person to change. They're regretting how they treated you. Um, and as I say, this could be past, present, or near future. You know where everything fits in your connection. 
but they're blessed to share this divine journey with you. They're blessed to share a powerful divine love with you. They're grateful for you and they give thanks to the divine creator. This is someone who wants you to not worry about the past. They've moved forward. They want you to embrace your beautiful divinity. You are a precious gift in their life. So yeah, you and your person are definitely coming back together. They could be in regret. I'm just now seeing this because they wanted you to chase after them while they were dealing with hell with this person, not knowing they were supposed to be releasing this person. They shouldn't have been in the energy of wanting you to, let's say, twin flame, runner, and chaser, divine timing. They shouldn't have been in the energy of wanting you to chase after them, but they weren't healed. It's like they still needed to learn this karmic lesson. This is someone who had childhood trauma issues that they were still healing from. So they weren't viewing things how they view them now. They didn't have the clarity that they have now. Now that they have gained clarity, it's like they're determined to make things right with you. And this is why whoever tried to create some type of blockages are disappointed and in regret. They've defeated their self and not the connection. Because that's something that they just could not do. 